Welcome to Finance to Futurist. So, Darren, talk to me, because when you were a practitioner yourself and somebody came to you and said, hey, I have a data lake, would you probably wouldn't have known what that meant. And again, you know, there's buzzwords out there, right? I think before, maybe 10 years ago, it was big data was really the, the hot industry term. And, and certainly now the idea of a data lake, right, or having a network or, you know, just being able to look at both buyer and seller data is, is important. But if you were to tell yourself, and I asked this question to Andrea last week on the podcast, if you were, you know, to tell your, yourself when you were back in the role of, you know, when you were the, the manager of that team, I guess, how would you think about if somebody presented a data lake to you, how would you try to simplify that to make it in terms that makes sense to you and your team of why data would be important to you and why a data lake would, would, could actually transform your role and your job? Yeah. Yeah. So I think this is the way I would put it. Um, when I was in my role of managing a group, I was always looking for the better mousetrap, right? I was always looking for how can I make my team better at what they're doing? How can I make um, the best decision on well, what account to call next? What when do, you know, what account um, do I move to the top of the list? Um, I knew there was a list of small accounts that weren't getting contacted, right? I was trying to always find a better workflow, right? Find a way to present this to my team to say, here's what I want you to do next, right? Um, my biggest problem was the only data set that I had was the data set that I created. It was, it was my company's data. So all I had information to go on was how those companies were paying me and how those companies were disputing with me and how those companies were um, reacting to dunning actions that my team was, was, was creating, right? What a data lake does is Sure, you've got access to what your team has done historically, but you've also got access to what all these other vendors are doing historically with your buyers. So how many other side traders are out there, you know, calling on ABC plumbing um, and, and maybe one of them has, has jumped on, this is the best possible way to, to get ABC plumbing to react to your dunning. Maybe, maybe ABC plumbing doesn't like phone calls and, and they want an email, but they, uh, they run their payments on the 20th of the month. So the best time to give them an, e an email is the 15th so that you know it's top of mind, it's right in the payment run. Um, there's plenty of time for them to ask a question about that happening. So now by learning that from a data lake and, from, and giving that information back to the other um, you know, side trade clients, um, what we find is that, holy cow, we can make a huge impact on, um, on those DSO days. And we can give you instant benchmarking, by the way, too, to tell you ABC Palming is paying everyone else faster. Let's look at why. So that's what a data lake does for me. 